Paris Saint-Germain has faced little competition thus far in 201,718 during Ligue 1 play, but perhaps their own injuries could be their first domestic downfall. More Pochettino furious over Guardiola's disrespectful Kane comments the French giants will be without five key players for Saturday's trip to Dijon, including Marco Verratti, Edinson Cavani and Thiago Motta, says manager Unai Emery. Additionally, Levin Kurzawa and Thiago Silva will also have their presence missed for the away fixture, but Emery expects all five players to be available for Tuesday's UEFA Champions League match against Anderlecht. On the positive side, Angel Di Maria, Javier Pastor and Thomas Manier have returned to fitness ahead of the weekend, making their availability likely. Follow at Madrid Football Cairo app soon after Egypt qualified for the World Cup for the first time since 1990, a hashtag began trending on social media about Rika to the World Cup. In a country where soccer and politics often mix, and often with explosive results, the pro-government media didn't like that. Mortab Ramos confirms interest in USMNT job The hashtag unleashed an intense online campaign by tens of thousands of fans calling for former star midfielder Mohamed Aboutrika, who is now living in exile in Qatar, to come out of retirement and play for Egypt at the World Cup in Russia next year. It stirred a storm in the Arab country because of Aboutrika's alleged ties to the Muslim Brotherhood, an Egyptian Islamist group that has been outlawed and declared a terrorist organization by the government. The Brotherhood was outlawed after the military's ouster of a freely elected but divisive Islamist president in 2013. The 38-year-old about Rika faces a host of charges rooted in his alleged financial support for the Brotherhood and lives in exile knowing he risks arrest if he returns home. His assets have been frozen by Egyptian authorities and his name is on a terrorism list. He now makes a living as a soccer pundit on the Qatar-based sports channel Bain. About Rika turned down the call to return in a message to his supporters. These are kind feelings for which I, thank you, he wrote on his Twitter account. But realism is better and I don't steal the efforts of others. Those men on the current team deserve to be there alone. Yet that gentle refusal didn't stop the storm around him, and the unfavorable comparisons made by some between About Rika and Liverpool forward Mohamed Salah, the team's current star and new darling of the pro-government media. Mohamed Salah is the player who stood by his country, not like the other one about Rika, said Ahmed Musa, perhaps the most ardent government supporter among TV talk show hosts. He Salah is Egypt's only star. The 25-year-old Salah endeared himself to fans with both goals, including an injury time penalty, in a 21 win over Republic of Congo on October 8 that ensured Egypt qualified for the World Cup for just the third time, and first time in nearly 30 years. Salah has also been embraced by the government of general-turned-president Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and its supporters in the media as a patriot. A donation of 5 million Egyptian pounds nearly $300,000 Salah made in December to a development fund founded by el-Sisi has gone a long way to endear him to them. In the week since qualification, Salah has been branded golden boy, legend and genius. One media commentator, Dan Daraway Elowary of the Daily Seventh Day, wrote of Salah's decisive goal against Republic of Congo it touched off the volcanoes of patriotism, sense of belonging and love of one's country. Not long ago about Rika, was the national hero, he still is to many, after playing a central role in Egypt's three straight African Cup of Nations titles in 2006, 2008 and 2010. Those triumphs made Egypt Africa's most successful team with a record seven titles. Now, the pro-government media refers to him as a traitor. Another talk show host, Amr Adib, suggested the campaign to bring about Rika out of retirement was the work of government critics and berated him for his failure to lead Egypt to the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. About Rika has been labeled a mercenary, with his job with the Qatar-based Bain used as evidence of his lack of patriotism because of Egypt's diplomatic spat with Qatar over the tiny Gulf nations' alleged support of terrorism. More Mike Ashley puts Newcastle up for sale about Rika's supporters argue that to have him back on the team would be a just reward for his dedication to Egypt and compensation for his failed efforts to get the team to previous World Cups. They point out that Argentina great Diego Maradona and Cameroon's Roger Miller both came out of retirement to play for their countries at the World Cup. Responding to the criticism from government supporters, about Rika's fans have also been posting videos of him scoring goals for club and country in years past, with commentators lavishly praising him for his skill and passion. 
Time certainly has flown by, and just like that the MLS Cup playoffs are well within sight. While the Eastern Conference is all locked up in terms of which teams will be in the postseason, seeding can change drastically on the final weekend. Mortab Ramos confirms interest in USMNT job. Meanwhile, the West sees three clubs vying for one final spot in what has proven to be a very intriguing battle over the last several weeks. All eyes will be on three teams in the Western Conference as the San Jose Earthquakes, FC Dallas and Real Salt Lake all have an opportunity to move into the sixth spot. Below, PST takes a look at where clubs can finish in relation to the playoff race. Eastern Conference 1 seed Toronto FC is locked into the top spot 2 seed NYC FC, clinches the 2 seed with a win Chicago Fire, clinches 2 with win and NYC FC draw a loss Atlanta takes 2 with win plus NYC FC loss drawing Fire loss draw 3 seed Fire, finishes 3rd with win NYC FC, takes 3rd with loss to crew and Fire win Atlanta, 3rd with win and Fire loss crew, finish 3rd with win over NYC FC and don't overtake NYC FC on GD, plus losses by Fire and Atlanta 4 seed NYC FC, 4th with loss to crew and overtaken on GD, plus fire win fire, finish 4th with loss and Atlanta win, plus NYC FC win a draw Atlanta, takes 4th with loss and NYC FC fire wins crew, 4th with win over NYC FC, fire win and Atlanta loss draw 5 seed crew, finish 5th with loss draw Atlanta, finishes 5th with loss and crew win fire, takes 5th with loss and Atlanta crew victories NYC FC, drops with loss to crew, Atlanta win and fire win draw 6 seed New York Red Bulls are locked into 6th spot Western Conference 1 seed White Caps clinch top spot with win Timbers finish 1st with win in White Caps lost 2 seed White Caps finish 2nd with loss to Timbers Timbers 2nd with loss draw and Sounders Sporting KC losses Sounders finish 2nd with win in White Caps win 3 seed Timbers 3rd with loss and Sounders win Sounders, loss to Rapids and Sporting KC DY Namo losses Sporting KC, finish 3rd with win, Sounders loss and Whitecaps Timbers draw Dynamo, 3rd with win, Sporting KC loss and Sounders loss 4 seed Whitecaps, finish 4th with loss to Timbers, Sounders Sporting KC wins Timbers, loss to Whitecaps, plus Sounders Sporting KC victories Sounders, finish 4th with loss draw and Sporting KC win Sporting KC, 4th with loss and Dynamo loss draw Dynamo, finish 4th with win and Sporting KC lost 5 seed Timbers, 5th with loss to Whitecaps and Sounders Sporting KC DY Namo wins Sounders, lost to Rapids, plus Sporting KC DY Namo victories Dynamo, finish 5th with loss Sporting KC, 5th place with loss and Dynamo win 6 seed San Jose Earthquakes clinch with win FC Dallas takes 6th with win draw and Earthquakes lost draw Real Salt Lake clinch with win draw, Earthquakes loss and Dallas lost draw follower at Madrid football with everything that has transpired since last week's U.S. men's national team debacle, American soccer fans can use a pick up What better could there be than perhaps another young star in the making dare I say, the next Christian Pulisic more Bruce Arena is out as USMNT manager perhaps, but it's way too early to say that. His name is Alessandro Cupini, a 10-year-old from Kansas City, Missouri that is about to complete a dream that a soccer player of any age would be thrilled to achieve. Less than two weeks ago, Cupini and his family announced that the Kansas City Fusion midfielder striker would be accepting a spot in the Is Roma Academy starting in the spring 2018, after having trained with the club for the better part of two years off and on. Pro Soccer Talk had the opportunity to speak with Cupini's father, Eddie, ahead of his son's big move to Italy. This is something that Alessandro has worked really hard for, Eddie Cupini told PST. There are times where I tell him that he needs to take a step back and be a normal kid, but he doesn't have any of that. He's an incredibly hard-working and driven kid that does more than most people regardless of his age. Alessandro, who recently turned 10 years old, ISNT the typically American youngster though, according to his father. There are times where I wish Alessandro would take a break and be a kid, but that's just not in his desire, Cupini said. We built him a mini-stadium downstairs where he trains basically every day after school. As soon as he gets home from school, HES doing work down there and always looking for other kids to come over to practice with. That's where the comparisons to Polišić can be worked into the conversation. Polišić followed a very similar path to the professional level when he left his hometown of Hershey, Pennsylvania at the age of 16 to sign with Borussia Dortmund. Now, HES US Soccer's most promising star as the USMNT looks to rebuild. We're very familiar with Christian's story, and HES certainly somebody that Alessandro looks up to, Cupini said. 
Kupini is already on the radar of U.S. soccer and the Olympic Development Program ODP, which helps identify young talent in the United States starting at the under-12 level. However, because of Kupini's Italian heritage and his unique opportunity to move to Italy next year, Alessandro could potentially have the chance to represent either the USMNT or the Azzurri in the future. It's a long ways away and we're taking things slow in that regard, Kupini said in regards to his son's international plans. We'd certainly be willing to explore our options, but I think it would be a real dream and his main goal to play for Italy. New Jersey native and former Italy international Giuseppe Rossi made a similar career choice when it came down to choosing a national team. Despite living in the United States for much of his youth years, Rossi appeared for a number of Italy's youth teams before holding a stint with a senior side from 2008 to 2014. Prior to making the announcement that Roma would be where Cupini will ply his trade next year, the young American also had the opportunity to train with Italian academies Empoli and Atalanta. My father is from Rome, so for Alessandro to have the opportunity to play for his hometown club it was almost a no-brainer, Cupini said. We were very grateful to the other clubs for the chance Alessandro had to train with them, but Roma is a club that is very close to our family. Follow at Madrid Football The Foxes haven't had the start of the season that Craig Shakespeare and co. would have hoped for, but Monday's performance was certainly a step in the right direction. More Mike Ashley puts Newcastle up for sale Leicester City pulled out a 11 draw against West Bromwich Albion at the King Power Stadium, however, the Foxes remain in the bottom three of the Premier League. Riyad Mahrez had plenty of chances on the day, and he rescued his side with 10 minutes remaining after powering home a strike into the far corner. The goal marks the Algerians' first of the 201,718 campaign. Despite a frustrating opening hour, the visitors led on 63 minutes when Nasa Chadley curled home a brilliant free kick that left Leicester goalkeeper Kasper Schmeichel stunned. For the Belgium international, Chadley becomes West Brom's seventh different goalscorer of the season. Leicester nearly came out flying in the second stanza when Mahrez had an open chance in the centre of the baggies penalty area, however, the Algerian winger's left-footed attempt was too high to hit the target. More Liverpool's Lovren accuses Lukaku of deliberate stamp Mahrez chance came just minutes after West Brom keeper Boaz Hill was nearly sent off after the 34-year-old took out a streaking Jamie Vardy on the edge of the penalty box. Monday's result means both clubs have now gone six matches with a win in place play. Follow at Matrid Football.